you have this beautiful relationship that's coming up. Look at that, healing between two. Ten of Pentacles, you've really got money raining down. It's generational wealth. I'm just going to lay out a bit of a spread and then I'll um, translate the cards for you so that you have choice to make your own decisions at any time. So, I see that you are definitely uh, somebody that people look up to and that you are someone that is a mentor for others and that people learn a lot from you. Maybe you are spiritual. Spirit guides, please shh, tell me when to stop shuffling. So I see a bird out there. So it's like you're actually becoming free of some things that are holding you back recently. There's the hangman. So you've kind of been in a state of waiting, state of healing. And maybe you've been watching somebody or somebody has been watching you quite closely. You may be aware of this or you may not. And, but now it's sort of like you're coming out of that time of waiting. You're coming out of that suspension time. You're coming out of that period of rest and sort of being stuck or stagnant. And you're ready to move forward into this new beginning. Someone is actually ready to give you their cup of love, it looks like. <clears throat> or you're actually giving your cup of love to yourself. Looks like you're sort of doing a lot more self-care, self-healing. And you are really standing quite pretty on your own. So, this page of cups. So that page of cups is all about self-love. See, she's holding her cup there and she's um, filling her own cup so that she can be ready for someone new in the future. When she's ready, she, when she's done the work on herself, she's put in a lot of work on herself and she is ready for somebody else to offer their cup of love. Possibly a king of cups, maybe he might be a water sign. He's could be a healer, could be someone that does works with other people, like counsellor possibly, but um, he's very emotional, connected to his emotions. He knows what he wants and, and he goes for it. But you have a decision to make at the moment, it looks like you maybe you have a choice between two, but you have to sort of come out of that illusion, um, kind of wake up from this stagnant sort of hangman mode and make a de decision what you want for your future. Which way do you want to go? Do you like want to go in down that path or do you want to go down that path? You really have to decide. Take off the blindfold and really make a decision which way you want to go. Maybe take a leap of faith, you know. Be the fool. The fool is like, it's, it's, he's ready to set out on a new journey. Um, he's, he's sort of just starting out like that little wolf puppy there, right there. It's quite young, so it's actually, he's just starting out on this new journey to self-discovery. Uh, so that's you in the past. So maybe you've had to sort of take a leap of faith and you've kind of just jumped out of some situation into the, into a new. But recently you've been working, possibly you had this person that might be a bit stubborn, someone like a masculine figure who has maybe um, been a bit controlling. He possibly, maybe somebody, you know, he could be your divine masculine. He could be your partner. Uh, he could be a teacher as well. He could be a boss. And, but he's sitting on his throne and he's not really budging. So you've kind of had to take that leap of faith and move forward. <clears throat> and now things are starting to move really swiftly. There's um, things all happening for you real quick. Your um, messages coming in as well from other people. Your ships are coming in even, but you don't realise that they're just behind the all the wands coming at you. That's moving really fast. And just be ready because that's what's happening in the background without you realising. You're looking a bit sad like you've had a bit of a difficult time, but your things are really moving fast. 
you've had to deal with a bit of trickery, thievery, some people that have kind of double crossed you, but you're coming out of that, you're sort of surviving well on your own. You've had to walk away from some people, um, you know, cut some people out. You've really um, had a difficult time recently, but you're actually stronger from it, this experience that you've had. <clears throat> maybe that you've had to deliver some harsh messages to somebody that, you know, that maybe someone you cared about, some people, some friends, family, someone that you love, you've had to sort of really speak up and sort of say the harsh words. You've had to, you know, deliver some tough, tough messages and cut some people out of it, I'm guessing, by the look of that. And so your hopes and fears is that you've got this new beginning. You're creating something new. You're like, you know, broken the stone. It's sort of like you've had a tough time, but now you're ready to manifest something beautiful and something new. Something that'll be exciting. Um, some some adventures coming up that you're that you're manifesting, but then also you're a bit nervous about that. So you look at you there. You're a little bit sort of sad, but sort of um broken looking but that new that's like a new beginning you've a, a breaking of the foundation and you are very financially stable you're very abundant you're independent you have tamed the beast within and you're looking pretty in your garden there with all those beautiful sunflowers you've got enough financial stability to support yourself um, but you've also, you know, you've got six, uh, five pentacles here, so you're really well off, but you've also got four here that you're willing to share with other, others. Um, you've got this bird on your hand, so you've tamed that bird, like the tame, like you've tamed your, your, the beast within. And you're looking really financially stable on your own, and you're looking pretty, you're looking good. Um, other people see you as looking great, and that you're, uh, you're almost at your ten of pentacles. So you're very well off. I'm just going to get a few clarifiers to clarify these cards. What is the page of cups about, please? What is the page of cups about? Well, looks like there's coming up you've got a really wow you got page of cups so that's like cup of love but amazingly you have this beautiful relationship that's coming up look at that healing between two ten of pentacles you've really got money raining down it's generational wealth and this is a blessing from above from the spirit world and it's possibly a marriage as well a really abundant marriage that is so beautiful so do the healing on yourself fill your own cup and just get ready for it because this is really looking so great so abundant oh, wow that's amazing maybe with this king of cups who's coming in for you king of cups what is that about please king of cups Wow. Wow. <laughs> Alrighty. So, that King of Cups, that um, water sign, the beautiful man that's sitting there. Uh, look at you, he's like using like a pear, and that is the Ten of Cups, so everything that you want. You're both looking at each other, so you must, you know, be close by, and but he's it's coming, rushing in to save the day. Any, there's communication coming in real quick to from this king of cups this water sign possibly counselor or healer somebody that works with people and you're looking pretty on your throne there with your with the pentacle and that's like happy fo family home abundance love everything you could want and it's also moving very swiftly very fast moving forward with absolute um abundance and complete confidence wow that's amazing 
Two of Swords. Wow. Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Oh, there you go. <gasps> oh, oh, well, interesting. So here comes the, ting of, the King of Cups again. And what clarification that is. Look at the Two of Swords and Two of Swords. Wow, that is clarification. So there's this beautiful King of Cups again. That's another clarification. And the Queen of Wands. So you're able to create this future. You can create what you want for your future because you're the most amazing manifester in the deck. You're beautiful. You're happy. You're um, somewhat, everyone really loves your energy being around you. Uh, but you have to decide, do you want to go back to the old or do you want to move forward and take off the, the blindfold and really decide what you want? Because that's really showing that you have to decide because that is double confirmation. Huge confirmation. That King of Cups is waiting for you somewhere in your future. And you can manifest it because you're the Queen of Wands. Queen or king doesn't mean that it's male or female. It's just the energy. So it could be male, masculine energy and feminine energy. But you could be a man or a female either way. What is the full, please? Wow, that's amazing. Wow, so yes, you've had to take a leap of faith, all right. So the fall, you've had to start off on a, on a new journey. You've had sort of tough time. You've kind of really been kept up at night, a bit of anxiety and sort of nightmares about the situation where people have double-crossed you. You've been, um, people have really kind of disappointed you. And so you've had to walk away. You've really had to walk away and start anew. And it looks like the spirit has called, um, for you to move forward from whatever situations was happening in your past. You've really had to trust in your intuition and, and spirit, and you've had this new beginning where you've kind of had to move forward, <clears throat> take a leap of faith into the future, into your future to move forward. The Emperor, what is the Emperor? That's again, again, <clears throat> this emperor here, you've had, um, so you've had to, here's the emperor, you've had to walk away from this emperor, and due to a bit of trickery thievery that's happened, you, you know, you've been really disappointed, maybe this, you thought this person was your counterpart, you thought that they were your um, forever after, possibly, but You've had to walk away, make the decision to um, cut them out and start a new beginning. This is this is about people looking up to you, people being able to um, team together and create a new beginning. You're sort of like starting a new business, possibly working together with a team. Um, you're really <clears throat> starting a new. This is about creating the future that you really want for yourself. And people really looking up to you like that. You know, you're like a leader. You've had to walk away from tough situations, probably walking away from a male masculine energy. Or you could be the masculine energy who's kind of had to sort of be strong and stable in yourself. And you've, but you've definitely had to walk away from situations where you've been double crossed and tricked possibly and now you're starting a new sort of venture you're starting a new adventure what is the eight of wands so this is the eight of wands so that's about things moving really swiftly so you've done, put in all the work you put in so much work See that? All your pentacles um, stacking up there. You've done a whole heap of work to try and get to where you are now. And now you're looking, surveying what the work you've done and you're thinking, what more can I do? And you're sort of getting to a point where you know that you want more. 
and you're ready to work for it and it's all coming in you know it's really coming in swiftly now and also that you've had to make those decisions to cut people out you've delivered those messages you know delivered the harsh words to people that were not really treating you right and you're sort of got your ships coming in now things are coming in for you you've really made decisions to to walk away and to start anew and to you've had to deliver those tough messages what is the seven of swords please seven of swords so seven and seven we've had a lot of illusions some trick some some people that have kind of tried to trick you making you think um romantic illusions you've had so many choices but then some of these cups have been filled with things that have not been the greatest you've had to heal from that go within it's like this death death of the old you've kind of walked that's trickery thievery there and now you're recovering from that so those double crossings those illusions so you'll come to a point where you're actually um you've healed you've done the work and now the universe is giving you this beautiful new beginning this new path you can walk down they're giving you a financial new start you are ready for new adventures everything new and you're being handed it by the universe by spirit by your ancestors you're ready for it but you have to be just um you just have to be ready for it and really accept the gift that's coming to you page of swords So that's about the delivering the messages, cutting words, you know. So you you've had to so temperance. So empress. Other people see you as this beautiful empress where you're like grounded, you're sitting pretty, that you know what you want, you're really abundant, you're giving birth to new new beginnings, new starts. Lovely new things coming in for you. And you've tempered it so things are becoming really smooth for you you're really um pouring into your own cup and things are becoming really good and the lovely thing is that you've got this lovely prince coming in the knight of shining armor he's ready to give his cup to you he's connected to his emotions um someone that's ready to present his cup to you because you are the empress so you've had to cut people out and now you've done the healing, you're beautiful, ready for the Snyder Shining Armour who's coming in to give you his cup. Ace of Wands, what is that about please? Ace of Wands. Good, right, Ace of Wands, that's that new beginning um temperance again things are becoming real smooth flowing really easily and you're feeling a lot better there's a new path there behind you behind the angel and that's your guides as well that has sort of been helping you and guiding you to know to go in the right direction and so you're starting this new business um this new foundation that you're beginning this new venture new adventures and it's equal give and take as well so it's like people that are there to help you as well like the universe even is helping you with the spirit you know because because temperance is here as well so you've really been gifted with this new beginning this new um it's new financial um, benefits as well new financial business and working together as a team and people looking up to you from what you've been doing and all the hard work you've put in Nine of Pentacles. So Nine of Pentacles. You're looking very pretty there. Um, you've had uh, difficult situations. You've had karmic lessons you've had to learn. You're feeling a bit trapped. You know, you've got this blindfold on. You've got, you're tied with these strings. and But then it's loosely tied. There's all these swords around you. 
um, but you can easily get out of it. It's a self-imposed trap that you've created. So you've had to, um, you have to take that blindfold off, wake up and know that you are abundant. Look at how abundant you are there, you know. Because um, things are really swiftly moving now, but you have to just sort of let go of the hurt, let go of the pain, whatever's happened in the past, because you have this beautiful this beautiful night that's coming in with this cup towards you and it's going to move really swiftly but you have to really um heal do the healing know that you are beautiful and abundant like that and just focus on um the great things the hard work you've done really congratulate yourself pat yourself on the back you know you've done the hard yards you've really made it okay and so like i was saying in the past You've had some disappointments. These cups you're focused on, you know, that didn't work. These relationships, whatever they were, people you've had to walk away from, you've been quite sad about it. But you, the universe is passing you this new beginning. You know, like you've had all, you know, it's been in these three cups has been painful, all these swords. But now you have to use that sword, take them all out and forge forward because you've got this of wands because you can... You can manifest what it is you want. The best manifester in the pack, beautiful, exuberant person who deserves the world. They don't deserve that, but you're manifesting that. So you have to really focus on the beautiful new beginning that's coming up and really be sure of what it is you really want so that you can bring that in. Knight of Cups, Knight of Shining Armour, you can do anything. You have to just focus on what it is you really want for your future. So that's us for today. Thank you for listening. Bye.